right there. Easy. Easy. You know I'm not with Trinity. Why should we believe you? I escaped with one of yours. A man named Jacob. Where is he now? We were together, but we got separated in the mines. She killed him! No! No, 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 no! Jacob would never trust an outsider. Please, listen, I am not your enemy. I warned you. You should have left. Sophia! Enough! Father! I thought I lost you. I'm glad you made it out of there. Forgive Sophia, she is cautious. In her position, I'd be the same way. What did you find out? Trinity is coming in force. We must prepare. Her? She's a friend. On my word, no harm will come to her. These ruins. We must be near the Prophet's lost city. Come. We do not have much time. Prepare the weapon stores. Secure the battlements. Go! Now! They're almost here. But we're outnumbered. The children and elders are vulnerable. Go. Get them into the catacombs. Light the fires. The valley must be alert. Incredible. Sophia, muster our fighters. Then meet me in the upper village. Don't disappear again, Father. There's much to do. If we had more time... Later. For now, I'll do what I can to help. One last transmission out, and let the other settlements know what's coming. I'll do what I can. You two. I need eyes out across the valley. Head to the cliffs and take watch. I want to know the moment you see their helicopters. Jacob and his people are resilient. I'll give them that. Trinity is on their way. They could do with my help. And this atlas from the mural. If it really is some kind of map of the ruins, I've got to find it before Anna. If I don't, then all these deaths will have been in vain. And I can't have that on my conscience. We know this land better than they ever will. Don't forget that. Damn. We only had one more day to prepare. But we... Hmm. This vase must have been beautiful once. But someone's poked a few new holes in it and filled it with dirt. They must have used it to grow seedlings. Drive them out, can't we? You were there when we drove the Soviets out. People need to hear we can do it again. I didn't think we could do it then. And it took ten years. Better to say nothing.
prehistoric carving of the bear. The stone looks like it could have come from this valley. I need more wood for the fire. They needed most of the lumber to repair the guard towers. We'll have to make do with what we have. Well, if they need arrowheads for the battle, then I need more firewood. I've already cut plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more time. Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths and births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause, but I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory, but as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again, and we are bound with the fate of this place. For better, or worse. I have left a forge. Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get four, maybe five more sheets cut for the barricades. we will have to find more. That's gonna be a problem. I dragged the last of those cylinders out of the Soviet prison a few summers back. After that, we're back to using a hammer and chisel. There's a be I've never felt such terror. Tonight, the armies of the Mongol horde camp at the edge of the valley, ready to strike at the heart of Katesh. We have the alchemist's fire at ready to set the invaders alight. Every man and woman who can wield a weapon will fight. We will do all we can to support the Athanatoi. But I have never seen bloodshed. None of us mere citizens have. I have never taken a life, and now that I must, I fear for my resolve. We spent two full days combing the old hill. Can you see anything left there? No, sir. They're trying to get the structure repaired. Could you want the whole thing to fall when the wind picks up? Just keep Greetings. your eyes out. We'll be here at any moment. Hello. Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. I'll run out of nails before we're done here. We can pull more out oh, of the old nails. Channels. The ones we don't use anymore. We never recovered from the Soviets. And now this. I made a mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia, whom I thought I'd long forgotten, and it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment, even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child, and those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. I see. It speaks of something hidden.
Young ones. You scoffed at learning your letters. Said it had nothing to do with hunting. But that's your first lesson. Everything is connected. And I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, here's your first assignment. Track, hunt, and bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. Hares you can find anywhere, night or day, both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hares in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees and rain will drive them into their burrows. And if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat. Followers of the Prophet fled to the east. The journey was difficult. Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find Buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment.
There's got to be something down there. This architecture predates the rise of Eastern Orthodoxy. doing here a gold belt buckle decorative but strong and functional hmm it appears to be part of a military uniform I have left my wife in the care of these physicians. The sickness became exactly what we feared as her skin turned to scales and she lost all feeling in her extremities. They say there is nothing that can be done for her save for give her relief from the pain and ease her passing. But she must be kept far from the city, far from me. My wife will die, and I will never see her in this world again. I will hurry to the next to meet her. A necklace of incredible detail. Whoever made it, it's the equal of anything found in the Empire.
that should hold. I just need to find a way out. We are crippled by our isolation. We have with us the combined medical knowledge of the Empire, a millennia of learning that tells us how to treat every ailment. But here, on the edge of the world, the lack of one simple flower leaves us helpless. I cannot do much for the afflicted. I know how, but I cannot because we have hidden ourselves away. These people and many more that follow will die needlessly, all to keep our secret hidden. I pray the Prophet is right when he says that it will be worth it in the end. to be a treatise on the connection between the body and the mind.